just before it was time for the Great Spirit to create man and woman, the Great Spirit gathered all of the animals together for a meeting. The Great Spirit explained, Now that I have finished creating you, I will make one last creature, a man and woman. Unlike you, this creature will not be able to survive without help. The only way man and woman will survive is if you pledge to donate a part of yourself to this new creature. The animals bravely stepped up to the Great Spirit's request. Bear proudly told the Great Spirit how warm his fur was. Perhaps these new creatures could wrap themselves in his coat to stay warm during the cold of winter. Fish proudly showed the Great Spirit his strong muscles. Surely man and woman would gain strength eating his flesh. Eagle flashed the Great Spirit his beautiful feathers. Man and woman would certainly be proud to adorn their bodies with his beauty. As the different animals one by one pledged to help the new creatures, Skunk, who was proud and vain, thought of what he might pledge. Skunk looked at his beautiful long tail, his beautiful striped back, and his beautifully shaped claws. He knew he would not give up anything for the Great Spirit's new creature. Skunk looked at all of the wonderful gifts presented for man and woman. Greedily, he looked at the quail's gift of an egg. Surely, man and woman did not need this small gift. Swiftly, Skunk swallowed the egg whole and snuck away. The egg did not sit well with Skunk. First, the egg gave him a stomach ache. Then, the egg gave him terrible gas. Embarrassed, Skunk went to the Great Spirit to be healed. The Great Spirit refused. Dear Skunk, first you refused to present man and woman with a gift. Then you stole a gift. How can I grant your wish when you have only shown greed and selfishness? So that you will always remember with shame your actions, you will keep the egg forever. And that is how Skunk got his scent. <laughs>